Good day! Welcome back to Mamsi TV. For today's video, we are going to discuss interpreting data presented in different kinds of bar graphs for Math 4, Quarter 4, Week 6. Learning Objectives At the end of the video lesson, you are expected to Analyze a vertical or horizontal, either single or double bar graph. Interprets data presented in different kinds of bar graph, either vertical or horizontal, single or double bar graphs. Answer questions about a certain bar graph. Let's look back. Data is a collection of gathered information. A data can be organized either tally chart or frequency table or bar graph. Tally chart or frequency table is used to organize and display data in a very comprehensive way, while bar graph is used to show the comparison of data from the different variables. There are two kinds of bar graph. We have the single bar graph and double bar graph. Let's study this one by one. Let's study this. The shown bar graph is an example of single bar graph. Let's identify the parts of bar graph. First one is we have the title. The title will tell us what is the bar graph all about. Then we have the vertical axis and horizontal axis. In vertical and horizontal axis can be written or we can write here the information or the data gathered. Take a look at the illustration or the bar graphs shown. Now, kung inyong mapapansin, same title lang sila, same data ang ginamit sa bar graph. Now, these two bar graphs shows the two types of single bar graph which is or which are single vertical bar graph and single horizontal bar graph. Now, what is the difference between the two? Dito sa single vertical bar graph, ang bar graph natin ay patayo, samantalang sa horizontal ay pahiga. Pero kung inyong mapapansin, ang data na ginamit dito ay parehas lang. Now, how are we going to interpret the bar graphs? To interpret the bar graphs, let's just follow these steps. First, look into its parts. Then, find the vertical and horizontal axis or you are going to identify o identify mo alin nga ba dito ang mga data na nakalagay sa vertical axis at horizontal axis. Then, look into the labels and the scales. So, ayan. So, titingnan nyo na kung ano-ano yung mga nakalagay sa bar graph. And then, look for the legend if any, usually ang legend ay makikita kapag ang bar graph ay double bar graph. Kapag alam mo na ang mga data na nakalagay sa bar graph, madali na lang para sa iyo ang ma-interpret at masagot ang mga question tungkol dito. So let answer this question. 1 what is the title of the bar graph? So, pwedeng dito ka tumingin sa vertical bar graph or pwede din sa horizontal since parehas lang naman siya ng data na ibinigay. So, the title is Fruits Harvested in Kilograms. 2. In the vertical bar graph, okay, dito tayo titingin sa bar graph na to, what information is placed along the horizontal axis. Tama, it's fruits. How about on vertical axis? That's right. 
It's the number of kilograms. Three, in the horizontal bar graph, of course, dito tayo titingin, what information is placed along the horizontal axis? Tama, it's the number of kilograms. How about on vertical axis? Correct, it's fruits. Four, how many kilograms of atis were harvested? That's right, it's 25 kilograms. Five, how many kilograms of mangoes were harvested? That's right, it's 20 kilograms. Which fruit was the least harvested in kilograms? Least, ibig sabihin yung pinakamababa. That's right, it's mango. Which fruit was the most harvested in kilograms? Most yung pinakamadami. And it's guava. Eight, how many more atis were harvested than mango? So, how many more, ibig sabihin, gaano ba karami ang kalakihan ng bilang ng atis sa mango? So, what are we going to do is, magsusubtract tayo. So, minus natin ang atis na which is 25 kilograms sa mango which is 20 kilograms. So, 25 minus 20 is 5 kilograms. 9 how many more guava were harvested than mango? So, same thing din sa number 8. Magsusubtract lang tayo. So, ilan ang guava? 30. Minus natin sa 20. The answer is 10 kilograms. 10. How many kilograms of fruits were harvested in all? So, since we are talking about all, lahat. So, we are going to add or ipa-plus lang natin ang 20 sa mango, ang 30 sa guava, and 25 sa atis. Therefore, there are 75 kilograms of fruits harvested in all. Here is another example of bar graphs. So, kung inyong mapapansin, iba ito sa naipakita natin kanina. Why? Dahil ito ay halimbawa or example of double bar graph. So, when we say a double bar graph, it represents more than one kind of information using bars. Now, this time, sa double bar graph, meron tayong legend. A legend is necessary for this kind of graph which represents the data being compared. Just like in the single bar graph, double bar graph also has types. This one is an example of double vertical bar graph and here is the example of double horizontal bar graph. Now, how to interpret these bar graphs just like in the single bar graph? First, we need to look into its parts or the title, the horizontal axis, the vertical axis, and this time, our own legend. And then, find the vertical and horizontal axis, look into the labels and the scales, and look for the legend, if any. Let's now answer these questions. 1. What is the title of the bar graph? That's right, it is the book choices of grade 4 pupils. 2. In the double vertical bar graph, so ito yan, what does the vertical axis represent? Tama, it is the number of pupils. On horizontal axis, it, that's right, it is books. 3. In the double horizontal bar graph, so dito naman tayo sa kabila titingin, 
What does the vertical axis represent? That's right, these are books. How about on horizontal axis? Correct, it's the number of pupils. Four, what groups of data are being compared? So, since nasa double bar graph tayo, meron tayong dalawang data na kinukumpara. So, this time, titingin tayo sa legend. So, merong data sa boys and girls and of course, yung sa title. So, ang, the answer is the book choices of boys and girls in grade 4. 5. How many boys like signs? So, para ma-identify natin kung uh, saan tayo titingin, whether, whether sa blue or pink, tingnan lang natin yung legend. So, according to the legend, uh, blue represents the boys. So, how many? That's right, it's 8. Now, how about the girls? That's right, it's 12. Then, 6. How many more boys than girls like signs? So, meron na naman tayong word na how many more. So, gaano ba kadami ang pagitan ng boys sa girls na gusto ang signs? So, katulad kanina, magsusubtract lang tayo. So, subtract natin yung 12, which is sa girls, at yung 8 sa boys. So, 12 minus 8, the answer is... 7. How many boys like math? So, it is 14. How about the girls? It's 10. 8. How many more boys than girls like math? So, same thing na ginawa natin. We are just going to subtract. So, 14 minus 10 is and last but not the least, what is the most favorite of the pupils? So, paano natin malalaman? So, we are going to add. So, i-add muna natin yung sa science. Sa science, i-add muna natin yung 8 at ng 12. So, pagsasamahin natin yung sa boys and Girl, so 8 plus 12 is 20. Sa math, we have 14 plus 10 which is 24. So based dito, malalaman natin ang sagot. So therefore, the most favorite books of the grade 4 pupils is math. So kids, remember... The parts of bar graphs are title, horizontal axis, the vertical axis, and the legend. The types or kinds of bar graphs are the single bar graph and the double bar graph. When we say single bar graph, it shows single bars to represent data while the double bar graph presents more than one kind of information using bars. To interpret bar graphs, look into its parts. Find the vertical and horizontal axis. Look into the labels and scales. And look for the legend. Very simple and easy, right kids? That ends our video lesson for today. If you have a question, don't hesitate to write your questions in the comment box. Please don't forget to like and share my video. If this is your first time to visit my channel, please click Subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified for my latest videos. Bye and thank you!